Hey VC, long time no talk. It's Drew here. It's been a while. Uh, big life change. I got a, a, a different job and I actually moved. Um, and this was back in early March. I got the new job. I moved by April. And I've just been, I don't know, kind of distracted, busy with the whole move. And last week I actually found out there's a record store near where I live now. I didn't think they were any near me, which kind of sucked. So my record spending had kind of dipped down. I didn't buy anything for a while. Just small stuff. Thrift stores here. Maybe a record online here and there. But um, now I kind of feel more comfortable. I'm, I'm you know, used to everything now. So I figured I could finally make a video. I have some free time. And um, I actually have a lot of stuff here since I haven't done a video since fuck. After Christmas. Maybe like January. So it's been a long time. If you even remember who I am on here. Excuse me. But... I got I got some cool stuff uh, I definitely want to show. I'll just start off. I have two piles here. One is actual like new records I bought online or at the record store, and the other one is used records and like thrift store pickups. So first off here, I got this little uh, 45 at the thrift store, and it's uh, I can't read it there. What's it say? It's Star Wars theme slash Katana Katina band. I'm sorry, and it's like a funky sort of disco version of the Star Wars theme, and then the uh, the song from the bar in New Hope where there's all the weird aliens and stuff. And it's pretty cool. And on the other side of it is, it just says funk. I haven't even listened to the other side yet, but I thought it was pretty cool. Anything Star Wars I'm going to pick up because I love Star Wars. Uh, another one here I got from the thrift store and that's uh, Ultimate or Original, what the fuck is the cut? Original Rock and Roll Hits of the 50s. Just a cool compilation of some uh, early, mid 50s, maybe even late 50s, uh, rock and roll, uh, like doo-wop kind of stuff. It's really cool. I like this kind of music. And anytime I can find compilations of this stuff, I like to get it. Next one, I picked this one up at that new record store by me. It's uh, in the used section for $2, and that's the Mamas and the Papas. I really like the song uh, California Dreamin', and that was on here. And, uh, yeah, so that's that. And I don't think I showed these because my last video was so long ago. I don't even remember what I showed, but I'm pretty positive I had gotten these. Yeah, I definitely didn't show these, but I got these at the old record store where I used to live, and that's Bob Dylan Desire, which uh, anytime I find a Bob Dylan record for a good price, I pick it up. I didn't have this one, and uh, this has Hurricane on it and a bunch of other songs, so that was awesome. And also got Neil Young, Once Upon a Time, is that it? Comes a Time, sorry. And uh, again, anything that's Neil Young and it's for a good price, I'll pick up too, and uh, this is an awesome record. I really like this one. And the last thrift store used pickup I got was the Gremlin soundtrack, which I thought was pretty rad. Uh, I love Gremlins, such a great movie. And to get the soundtrack and vinyls, pretty sweet. Anytime there's a, a soundtrack to a movie I like, I'm going to get it. And Gremlins is awesome. And now on to the, the new records. Some good ones here. Uh, this one I got, it's um, Jawbreaker Biovac. I don't know. I don't feel like trying to figure out how to pronounce it right now. I'm really tired and my brain's dead. But awesome song is in here. It's got Shield Your Eyes, Chesterfield King. I fucking love this record. And uh, Jawbreaker is awesome. I feel like I keep saying that, but whatever. And this was a new release that came out uh, early June. I'm pretty sure that's when I got this. Maybe late May, mid May. I don't remember. Um, that's Frank Turner, Tape Deck Harp. Uh, I'm a big Frank Turner fan. I have all his records. Um, and I was real excited for this one because England Keep My Bones, I thought was phenomenal. Uh, probably, I mean, it's his third, fourth, fourth album. And I thought it was probably the best, maybe, um, Love Song and I are slightly better. But I thought his last album was amazing. So I was really looking forward to this one. I'm rambling, I'm sorry. Um, but this one, I definitely liked. It's definitely good, but it did feel just almost too, like, pop radio friendly it seemed like i don't know oh, it just wasn't as i had my hopes set too high for this one it's still good it's still a solid album um definitely not bad by any means but it just wasn't as good as england keep my bones it felt almost like all the songs were just simply about like love gone wrong which kind of sucked um but there's definitely still some awesome tracks in there i actually saw frank live um in mid may june june 10th or something like that in asbury park at the stone pony and it was awesome. Seriously, probably one of the best shows I've been to. Fucking screamed and danced my ass off. And just so much energy. She so played for so long. 
And um, he's a big Springs team fan, so for him to go to Asbury and play the Stone Pony, he was just so gracious the whole time. And ended up playing an acoustic cover of Born the Run. Whole fucking crowd just screaming along with him. It was, it was magical. And the last two here was this one I ordered. I actually found out that Best Buy has a lot of cheap vinyl, and it's got free shipping. So I was looking on there for anything like under $6, under $7. And um, I saw this one on there. I'm like, wow, I'm definitely going to get that for, it was probably like $5.99 or something. And that's Ryan Adams and the Cardinals' Easy Tiger. Uh, good album. I like a lot of songs on here. It reminds me a lot of Neil Young, um, some of these songs. And I don't know if this was supposed to come in a, in a sleep, or uh, fuck. Ah, uh, case, I'm sorry. But all it is is just the, uh, like an insert and then the orange, clear, orange uh, vinyl. So I don't know if this is like how it was released or that's why it was only $6. It's missing the actual um, case. I don't know. But yeah, I love, I love that record. And the last one I got was, seriously, this is one of my favorite albums. Uh, just uh, such powerful stuff. And this was, this came out last year and I finally picked it up a couple weeks ago. And that's Japan Droids, uh, Celebration Rock. Just almost, in my opinion, perfect album. If you're into this kind of music, just real. All it is is just a, a drummer and a guitarist fucking screaming their lungs out. So much passion in this. Um, eight songs, all of them. Literally, I think every song on here is perfect, except for For the Love of Ivy. That's like the one song that I'm not super into. But Side B on this is just perfect. Like, every song is perfect. For, and I mean, this song's just great, kind of about using losing your youth, and um, but still like, kind of having it. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but this is, I remember Fires Highway last year was, oh man, so many good memories to that song. And this album just always reminds me of summer, and uh, it's perfect, I love it.